Yeah, obviously in the last couple of years I've seen a massive rise in, in popularity with the women's football with the England national team. So, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's great that now there's, there's sort of a... Um, a bit more of an influence in, in the public eye about girls being accepted into football and, and about getting into it from an earlier age. So, I can only imagine this is you know it's a great opportunity for the girls to to see if they like it. And it really because it's you know it's something that possibly they never had the opportunity to do. Um, some might like it, some might not. But it's, as long as you get the opportunity to play, that's that's really the main thing. And obviously the, the success of of the national team of, of which we have um, you know one of our member of staff in the first team goes um, goes away with the English uh, ladies national team, so he, he gets to see it firsthand. Um, and the effect that that has on you know on, on girls in, in the community, or, or not just in Bristol, but all over the country. So um, you know it's, it's really positive. You know we all enjoy it. It's you know it's, it's, it's part of obviously our role as as players of, of this massive football club to, to reach out to people in the community and, and have a connection with you know with not only with the guys but with the club in general. Um, and being able to come down here obviously and. Um, and just take pictures with, with the girls and, and, you know, sort of be, be a little bit of support for them whilst, whilst they're playing and, um, and you know, they, they might quite like it that they've met some of the players and it's, you know, it's nice for us to, to come down and see what Bristol, uh, you know, Rovers are, are doing as a club um, and the impact they're having, you know, on, on, on young people's lives.